Hey friend, today I'm going to compare five different key switches in Iconix keyboard and I will do a quick review for my favorite Iconix keyboard OG80 with TTC gold pink switches. For switch comparing I have a few more Iconix keyboards. L80 Formula with cherry blue switches, A80 Explorer with cherry red switches, L80 Cosmos Traveler with TTC silver speed switches and F96 with cherry brown switches. Keywords were kindly sent to me by iQnix, but they do not sponsor this video and wasn't even asked to do video review. So that is just my experience and they have no impact on this video. But if you like to buy anything from the iQnix store, I can offer you 5% discount link that is in the description. I will start this quick review of OG80 keyboard and then we'll jump over to key switch comparing. Iconix is leveling up its packaging game with every new keyboard and continue to come out with new and exciting designs for all the new keyboards. Let's take a look at what do we have in the package. Quick start guide, Mac and Windows keycaps to switch between layouts, extra keycaps if you like to change a few more keys, cleaning tool, USB-A to USB-C cable, Cable, dongle to connect the receiver to the cable if you like to move it closer. OG80 has onboarding storage compartment with magnetically attached cover so say goodbye to losing the receiver. You can switch between three wireless connections to work with multiple devices in one setup. OG80 is built from transparent plastic and for my eye looks a bit futuristic but that's nice. White, grey and teal plastic mix in design very well and this is my favorite from all the keyboards that I have. So Far. Overall, the build quality is great and this is an excellent pre-built keyboard for its price. It is around $200 and price depends on switches you choose for it. You can choose between different Cherry, TCC and Gateron switches. So let's test all the key switches that I have to find which are the best or better to say which I like the most because everything is very subjective as soon as you are stepping into the mechanical keyboard zone. Let's start with Cherry MX Blue and they are most clicky case with good tactile feedback. You feel when the keystroke is registered and clearly can hear that as well. Cherry MX Brown are tactile switches characterized by noticeable feedback. There is no additional sound for key registration but you can feel how keystroke is registered. Cherry MX Red are linear switches with low spring resistance. I'm not a big fan of them, but they could be suitable for working in office because those are silent. Ok, let's take a look at TTC switches. They don't require as much force to activate as Cherry switches, while Cherry switches are bone chair and give better tactile feedback, which is the main reason why they are so common. It is always trade off as well, so you have to push harder on those keys. My OG80 has gold pink switches. The gold pink switch is a linear mechanical switch with a low operating force, about 37 grams only, so that's kind of very easy to touch it down. Golding switches are suitable for gaming and of course they are silent as well. TTC Quicksilver also are linear switches but requests a bit more heavy pressing on the keycap, 45 grams. So if the gold pink switch feels too smooshy and easy to press then TTC Quicksilver will be a good choice for you. So this currently is my favorite keyboard, I like how it looks, sorts out that I really like gold pink silent switches, it doesn't bother me that there is no tactile feedback and yeah, I really enjoy to use this keyboard, my favorite one currently. Ok, thank you for watching, see you next one, bye bye.